so here we are geared up and ready to go uh, so we are going to um, get us some water uh, I don't know about you guys but I'm I'm eager to get out uh, and see this uh, new side of Bleak Inlet um, I have seen the other side um, I have not been into uh, the side that we are about to enter uh, we'll just leave that, that's not enough um, and so Bleak Inlet um, is, is a relatively harsh zone um, every time I've been there uh, it's the, the, the wind patterns um, are extremely brutal um, uh, not to mention um, the timber wolves um, uh, they can't be overlooked uh, there are uh, bears um, relatively close but it is a uh, an environmental puzzle. Uh, so, uh, in order to access uh, the full potential uh, of Bleak Inlet, um, you have to go into the side that we're fixing to go into. Get a code. Uh, now it won't work to just go uh, online or, or on YouTube and find the code out. Uh, you actually have to go over there, and it registers the fact that you picked up the code. Uh, and then that's what will allow you uh, access onto the other side. Uh, without that, uh, surrounded by snow, nothing to drink. Without that, you're you're not able to get in uh, into the main portion of of Bleak Inlet, um, the factory area, where you can begin to uh, craft bullets. Um, repair your firearms and uh, repair uh, your knives and hatchets and things of that nature um, so yeah uh, if you're wanting to go into that that area uh, just just start out uh, going going through um, the area that we're going to enter first uh, save yourself some heartache I am considering doing um, and as the dead sleep uh, uh, let's play uh, however as a disclaimer um, I have not uh, I mean I've made it out of Bleak Inlet um, I have made it almost um, into uh, the environment that we are now going to enter uh, when I finally did succumb uh, it's a difficult challenge uh, they, in their description, they say that few people are going to actually be able to achieve this. I, I believe that that may be true. Uh, you're going to have to really be dedicated um, to putting forth the effort uh, to actually make it uh, to all the different uh, grave site locations. Um, eh, it's windy, uh, but it is still early. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and push out anyway. Um, actually, this is the first time uh, since we've gotten our clothing upgrade uh, that we've really felt uh, the brunt, uh, and most of it is due to this windshield factor. Um, but we have a couple areas that we can stop and kind of warm up a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that too terribly much. So we, yeah, we're not even going to worry about these trailers. I, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm here to get into Bleak Inlet. Uh, so so let's go ahead and, and, and do that um, on a different playthrough um, or series. Uh, we can enter into all these things and, and do the scavenging and, and uh, uh, a different gameplay style. Uh, but this one is expressly for uh, getting into uh, bleak inlet um, 
if we do another uh, let's play or walkthrough um, it'll be on uh, interloper uh, I'm sure uh, you go ahead and comment down below if you'd like to see something special uh, if you'd like to see uh, a particular area gone through um, yeah just just let me know and we can go ahead and begin to um, plan that out um, here we have uh, cattails along that lake there we finally got our second piece of birch bark so we can make make us some birch bark tea uh, we're just going to go ahead and grab these um, we're not going to use them uh, but we're walking right past them and we are about to go into a cave uh, this this is predator free environment uh, so you really don't have to well speaking of that you really don't have to worry about trying to um, protect yourself uh, there there is deer and and rabbits uh, that patrol the area and oftentimes uh, there is a uh, prop carcass uh, up here by the mouth of this cave uh, that we are about to enter into um, so this is kind of a, a regrouping area if you will um, and he's there and you see there's there's the deer there uh, we're not going to hunt him uh, though, though we could uh, drop him uh, and then here's our prop deer so uh, in the very back of the caves, uh, if you have uh, guts or hides or uh, saplings, as we got right now, you can drop them and uh, they will begin to cure. Uh, you see cure 1%. 1 uh, it's the only outside environment that I'm aware of where you can actually cure stuff. Uh, most of them uh, require an indoor environment. Uh, but if you happen to be suffering with uh, cabin fever, uh, one of our, our favorite afflictions, uh, you can still hang out in the cave, uh, alleviate yourself of your cabin fever, and uh, cure some of your gear. Um, so where we are fixing to go um, is, is a place called the Ravine. Um, many of us have been down there. Uh, there's usually a flare gun uh, which is can be uh, really effective uh, not only on wolves uh, or moose but bear um, very few of your weapons uh, will actually scare a bear off um, you can stop them with the rifle with one shot uh, if you are extremely lucky um, but a flare will actually uh, not only scare a bear off uh, it can actually kill a bear and a wolf and, and can be a lethal weapon uh, if, it, if it hits and implants itself into uh, the animal. It will uh, I, essentially, I would imagine, uh, burn them to death. Uh, uh, here's another prop carcass. Uh, we're, again, we're going to bypass these. Uh, so uh, we come up to this climbing area and the first thing you're going to realize is, hmm, I don't have a climbing rope. Uh, I don't know that it's a hundred percent of the time, uh, but that is uh, pretty easily alleviated. Uh, we're going to go up and around, and there's another cave. And uh, every time that I've I've gone to um, retrieve it, uh, there has been a rope there. Uh, so we're going to uh, hope that that is the case this time as well. The, the one good thing about uh, walking around with a rifle drawn, um, though uh, 
I guess it does kind of slow down your, your walking progress a little bit, um, is you won't negligently discharge this weapon because you have to aim it first uh, before it, it will engage uh, the left trigger or left uh, mouse button and fire um, as opposed to the revolver which uh, we may and or may not have proven that it can be negligently discharged uh, just by trying to harvest and uh, maybe you're, it's, it's not quite ready to uh, harvest whatever you're looking at and it goes off uh, so just to kind of have protection because there are uh, I do believe this is the one that has a wolf in it it's either this one or the next one over um, but yeah there's no sense in uh, having a wolf spring out on us and eat our face off uh, for no reason um, what we don't want to do is we don't want to uh, encumber ourselves hmm well this isn't good so now we are without a rope so this is the cave that I was speaking of uh, most generally there's a rope laying right here uh, in this area um, I'm pretty sure I haven't passed it uh, I know there's an area where there's a a guy laying on the outside uh, but that's going to kind of throw a wrench into our plans so our entry into uh, at least that portion of the bleak inlet uh, is apparently going to be uh, slowed um, until we get us a rope so being as we're already heading into this direction uh, we're going to continue on. Uh, there may be a rope in the trapper's cabin. Um, uh, that'll work. However, there may also be um, a rope. There's a, uh, a basement and I believe another cave. Um, but we have um, coastal highway in this direction um, with lots of uh, uh, looting environments um, with which we may find um, a rope of course some of my more uh, seasoned players are probably uh, screaming at the scene right now screen telling me no go here go there uh, yeah ropes ropes are um, not really uh, haven't really been relevant uh, to me. I know there is a few uh, locations in Mystery Lake uh, where we can stumble upon some rope. Um, I just figured we've, we've seen a little bit of Mystery Lake, although we never went to uh, the camp office and we never went to uh, the lake cabins or um, to Trapper's Lodge or or any of that um, we'll just go this way and uh, see if we can't get lucky relatively early and find us now I don't think because because technically uh, we are uh, going down here this is where the actual entrance um, to that portion of bleak inlet is at um, I have not heard tell of, of anyone uh, going down this way, um, and yeah, it does, doesn't, I don't think that's the way we're going to enter into it, 
Um, we need a rope. Speaking of many ways that you could die in the long dark, uh, yep, I have died on this bridge as well. Uh, just plummeted right off onto the side, you know. Uh, actually, it, it's up here. Uh, this, because of that, it makes me nervous every time I do cross here. Uh, but I thought I was uh, good uh, right here and stepped over and was not good and all of a sudden was falling uh, to my death. I learned that lesson and hopefully we'll never uh, do that again. Should have known it couldn't be as easy as it was. Um, I know that in there is a whaling factory in Desolation Point uh, that, that typically has a rope in it. Um, I'm hoping that we do not have to go that far. Um, I was thinking that this series uh, would probably be um, about 20 episodes, uh, just giving myself time to gear up uh, to get to uh, the first side of Bleak Inlet get all the way back out then to get back around uh, to the initial or to the main area of Bleak Inlet um, and then from there uh, getting into the factory and actually uh, crafting some some things uh, the factory only works uh, during an aurora uh, so we will actually have to um, hang out until an aurora, uh, I think, to even get in. Uh, but if not to get in, to definitely uh, use the equipment. Um, once we've opened the door, um, I do believe the door stays open, so we won't have to worry about that. We'll be able to come and go then as we please. Um, it would be really nice if there was a, a rope either in this trailer or up in front of this or uh, somewhere close by. Um, the, the further and further we go, uh, the more and more likely it is that, uh, yeah, something devastating will happen and uh, our run be cut short of our goal. Me and the uh, natives don't typically get along together very well. Okay, cross our fingers. Well, that's a nice find. Uh, so we'll take that baklava, uh, our balaclava, uh, however it's pronounced. Uh, Might have we, to drop some gear. We could potentially uh, use the leather, leather from that to repair uh, our gauntlets. Take that, I think we're getting low on our uh, tender plugs, Ooh, an MRE. Uh, this, is, this, this is the best food product in the game. Ooh, it's kind of low condition, uh, but it's it's rather heavy. Uh, but it, it not only fills up um, our hunger, it also fills up our thirst. Um, and instead of carrying this, we're just going to go ahead and eat it and hope we don't get sick. Excellent. Um, let me see what time of day it is. We're about halfway through the day, and we are uh, just a few pounds over our encumbrance level. Um, 
we'll eat that little scrapling uh, just to kind of reduce our, our smell a little bit. A uh, little drink. And we're just over encumbered. Um, now we can uh, raise our encumbrance level uh, even higher, uh, actually by another 11 pounds. Um, if we hunt a, a moose and make a moose hide satchel, I think uh, it takes 12 days, 10 or 12 days. This pack is getting kind of heavy. I know to cure that hide. Uh, so that's that's not uh, a task that I'm going to want to add onto this run um, at this point in time um, I literally just want to um, not get eaten alive that'd be great uh, find a rope and skedaddle um, this corner up here can, can be treacherous matter of fact uh, I'm going to switch so that I can shoot from the hip if he is uh, there is a wolf coming from there. We heard one uh, calling out uh, just shortly ago. Alright, well, we're going to take a couple of shortcuts. This is probably uh, the area that I spend the most amount of time in. Uh, it is really spread out. There is a lot of looting areas. There are uh, tons of bunnies. There are uh, cattails galore. Um, there's plenty of fishing locations, um, mushrooms. Uh, this is really a, a survivable location. Um, there is bear, moose, and uh, something's got to go. Lots of wolf uh, in the area, or wolves. Uh, correct English. Hmm. Well, um, rarely, or maybe even never, have I found a a rope inside a container. Um, so uh, this is not looking like it's going to be very successful for us. Uh, who doesn't like beef jerky? Peanut butter. Mm. Woo. Uh, you know, uh, if it is... Uh, close to time to sleep and I have antibiotics on me uh, I will eat that um, it will prevent uh, uh, energy regain because you will have food poisoning um, but it will it will still put food in your belly and um, it'll keep your well-fed buff and uh, you'll wake up after 10 hours sleep uh, being just fine um, usually with a reserve of food from it um, so that could be an exploit uh, but it's one that I, I do not mind using all right so um, it seemed like the weather outside was uh, beginning to uh, change for the worse let me step back outside uh, We'll, we'll push on a little bit further um, and see if we can't uh, get to where we're trying to go to. Uh, I do have I have five cloth and 17 sticks, so we can build an emergency shelter if necessary. Um, again, uh, I'm relatively... Uh, confident in my ability to be able to uh, navigate this environment or uh, I wouldn't be moving far from 
uh, shelter. Uh, hopefully we don't break something. All right. Trying to think of a, a good area to find a. I mean, we have a tower here, a, a, a watchtower um, that may. We have uh, several large homes um, that may. I'm, I'm used to coming into this area on um, interloper and many of the uh, houses are burnt out um, that's one of the settings on interloper um, is that uh, some of the uh, structures are, are uninterable uh, yeah I see that um, I'm really not trying to drag this this series out I love playing the long dark um, and can go on and on and on um, but I, the, I would just prefer to go ahead and find us a rope and get where we're trying to go. Come on, rope. See that dog food. Um, I usually keep my mountaineering rope in the kitchen. Hope I can still eat this. Sardines. Uh, yeah, we'll probably eat that along with the peanut butter uh, right before we go to bed. coffee drinker. I love my coffee. Thank goodness. Soda pop. I will take this water. I'm going to leave that. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't want to carry it. It's too heavy. Okay. Um, Stop and do that now. Hope nobody needs this anymore. All right. Uh, so nothing under the bed. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and. We'll just spend a minute in our in our clothing. Um, let me double check my my physical stats. I've got plenty of food, plenty of drink. All right. Okay. Uh, so. Um, hour and 
15 minutes to harvest that. And hour and 30 minutes to harvest that. these up real quick. think uh, that this uh, wool toque and this balaclava uh, are going to be uh, our best items. I'm going to repair that and the balaclava can only go uh, on as an, um, an interior item. Uh, it cannot go on the exterior side. Uh, so we're, it is definitely better than this. Uh, so we're going to wear it and then this is a hundred good and this is at a hundred uh, so the wind protection um, is actually better by one point but it's 2.7 against 3.5 uh, so we're just going to go ahead and wear that and lose that that point of wind protection um, and then we're going to go ahead and harvest this Okay, with that, uh, these are at 99% wet. These are at 99%. Uh, so our that is good. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, uh, begin to prepare our, our birch bark. Uh, it only takes a couple of minutes. So birch bark tea is as well as um, you know providing a few calories and some uh, hydration and even warmth when it's what's warm. Uh, it increases your passive uh, energy regain or condition re regeneration. Um, so it's definitely good. Uh, it does not work in um, when the dead sleep, unfortunately. Uh, I guess that's good. It would make that um, challenge easier than probably it needs to be. We'll get rid of that. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Um, we are about to sleep. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, eat this peanut butter. And... Hmm, We are back to being over encumbered. Uh, Sixty-five percent on that is 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 not terrible. Um, Three hundred calories. I don't think my belly uh, can hold that, uh, but we're going to eat it. And then what we'll do is, uh, if it gets too low, we'll just drop it. Uh, we we used a hundred calories out of it. Uh, let's go ahead and drink to top off our water. Um, we are, uh, we got maybe an hour or two uh, of daylight. Uh, so we will go down to, we must have completed that one, so. Let's see, this should be, yep, a five-hour book. We'll try to do two hours. Close my eyes. Nope. Uh, so we, we only got one hour out of it, um, which is fine. Um, let's see if we can finish it now. Almost. Uh, we'll just drop that. We're not going to worry about that anymore. Uh, top back off on water, 
and we are going to uh, sleep. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of tiredness. And 11 days, 15 hours, 44 minutes, and there is a storm brewing. Uh, it is daytime, uh, so we can do things uh, that require light, even though it looks dark in here. Uh, so instead of uh, sleeping, uh, we're going to be uh, effective with our time. And we're going to try to get uh, two hours into this. see uh, it sounds like it just stopped uh, so I don't know how um, the weather's gonna be but we'll look we'll look and see it still sounds a little bit breezy uh, not terribly bad so I think we'll push out. Um, we are getting wet. Um, if you notice, our clothing uh, was wet, and that decreases its effectiveness. Um, and it can actually freeze and, and even get uh, less effective. Um, normally, I find it frozen if it's been laying in an outside box. Uh, this is a new and recent update. Uh, this this. Cave over here. Um, I do not recall. I see that wolf. I do not recall uh, seeing a, um, a rope in here, uh, but we're going to check it out. This is also. Um, it was mostly uh, for the episodal uh, content uh, and environment with which uh, there's a puzzle and and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but to unlock its this full potential, uh, it also needs to be uh, an Aurora. Uh, we have working elevator in here uh, to get down into a bottom level. Uh, I think I can use this. We'll drop, we won't take that hoodie. Uh, we will take those long johns. Oh, Mackinac jacket. Um, you know, I might consider uh, switching out. Um, that's a really good jacket, too. Uh, That'll come in. Quality tools. We just really would like a rope, please. That would be great. Um, I would say if we haven't found it in that first initial room, there's probably not, but I just want to double check anyway. Uh, no sense in being all the way over here and not uh, checking. Uh, we'll take some salty crackers, why not? So yeah, during an Aurora, uh, this will actually open up uh, a whole entire another um, section uh, of this mine, um, the lower bowels, if you want to call it that. Um, it's definitely worth uh, exploring, even on the Interloper. Uh, you you do have a, a better potential to get some some decent gear, uh, and there's usually. 
uh, you know, food and water and, and burning barrels and um, uh, things of that nature down there. Uh, this is uh, an interior where you could actually not uh, make a fire, uh, which is kind of sad. Um, but down in the lower bowels, uh, you can actually uh, use the burning barrels. Um, so, I, but I would highly recommend uh, go down uh, during an aurora and search out and then get back up out of there uh, before the aurora is, is complete uh, so that you don't get stuck down there longer than uh, you need to. Um, I'm not sure what the aurora pattern or schedule is. Uh, I don't know if it's random. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's just eat these uh, to alleviate our smell. Um, it looks like we're going to have to go to the Kwanzaa area. Ooh, that can be uh, challenging. Um, depending upon where the um, wolf population is, is hanging out at the time. Uh, but we're going to, uh, we're going to find out. Um, uh, this fog is, is not helpful. Um, we're going to leave that. So, uh, yeah, the Kwanzaa usually has uh, a rope, uh, but, but so did that, that initial cave. Um, so we're going to hope that we can find one and turn around and beat feet. Uh, there's already two of our, our wolf population there on the ice. Uh, not extremely... Um, dangerous if we in, encounter a wolf, uh, especially having uh, as much uh, health and um, energy as we do, uh, we will probably uh, survive it, uh, but I would still prefer uh, not to encounter them as, as I'm getting uh, closer and closer to encountering one. They seem to be happily uh, oblivious to my presence. Now, uh, I say it's rare that we find a rope in a container. However, um, finding them in trunks uh, is a high likelihood. I have found them in trunks. This would be great. Just give me a rope. No rope. This stuff is kind of handy. Eh, I don't really need it, but we'll take it. And no battery. I'm kind of glad about that uh, because the wolves are so close. It's 33 pounds um, unharvested. Uh, so uh, that, I mean, unless you're running around basically butt naked with no gear, uh, you're likely to be encumbered by it um, severely, uh, which will limit your moving. And I, that's not really a, I don't feel safe standing there for 30 minutes uh, harvesting it. Uh, so yeah. That's one of those times that I'm kind of glad, uh, but I had to look. Okay, well right off the bat I see a wolf. I see a second wolf. Hmm. This is, uh, can be a virtual kill zone uh, in there. Um, while it's, it's a place that um, makes a good base, 
Uh, it can also be a bad base uh, because um, you can basically be hemmed in uh, by wolves. Um, uh, that kind of sounded like a potential bear crows. Um, I am not good at distinguishing between bear crows and um, regular carcass crows, carrion crows I guess we could call them, uh, though I think they're all carrion crows. Uh, but there are apparently crows that hang around the bear that make a slightly more troubled co-craw crow caw yes uh, to kind of uh, give you um, an indication that there is a bear in the area um, we may have to just go ahead and expend uh, a bullet uh, to get rid of uh, the wolf population because there is one there one there one there one there uh, so there's at least uh, four uh, within the area right now um, and they look hungry to me um, so there's one two three four one two three four um, there can be um, a moose in this area, uh, a moose, uh, wow, oh, and he spotted me. So let me see if I can just scare him off. Uh, don't run towards me. Well, that's not right, because as soon as he gets unstartled, he's going to be coming for me. That one's already unstartled. So we're going to uh, step inside here for just a second. Um, it's going to give these wolves time to kind of uh, regroup uh, get back into their normal uh, pattern uh, so that when we go out and inevitably we have to um, shoot another round uh, windbreakers those those are good um, obviously for uh, wind protection um, Especially for early on in the game I don't really I don't know that I want to loot anything else I could use this I will take that bandage because uh, all we are going to do is uh, encumber ourselves more uh, than we already are uh, which we're going to have to undo uh, in order to uh, climb the rope that we need to climb after we find it so just real quickly uh, so I'm thinking about replacing uh, this one um, let me see about uh, repairing that uh, real quick oh, let me double check that might have been good uh, nope we're, we're fine on our We are at 100% now. This is at 98. This is 4.4 pounds. And this is 3.3. .3. So it's just over a pound. It's 4.5 and 3.6 compared to 5.2 uh, and 5.2. Um, it, it hinders our sprint 5%. And it only hinders it 3%. Um, I think... 
I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out and I'll take that um, what is that 7% or 0.7% um, warmth reduction uh, this r relatively is it doesn't matter uh, because we have the expedition parka on the outside which is giving us 9.4 uh, at this moment in time uh, so I'm going to uh, free up an extra pound so we're going to wear that um, and then we're going to uh, wear that repair that okay and let's see so we only have that and we only have that uh, I will drop those um, let me see about repairing this. It's 40 minutes. Uh, let me look at my, my condition. Okay, so we're good on that. Um, so 6, 3, and 9, 4. To 7, 1 and and 10 7 uh, so over over a degree and, and right at a degree um, or so um, so we're good there uh, these two empty slots uh, you can you can put your uh, moose hide satchel uh, in one of these slots um, you can only carry one moose hide satchel uh, and then you have uh, earmuffs uh, that you can wear you can actually wear uh, two pair of earmuffs uh, that kind of go on the outside uh, here uh, that just kind of give you a little bit more of a, a temperature bump. Um, however, we haven't found any of those yet. Uh, they're just like special items. I, I just, I, I just don't want to. I just don't want to do a lot of, a lot of harvesting uh, or a lot of uh, scavenging right now um, because. Uh, like I said, we're just going to uh, over encumber ourselves, and I just don't know that that's worth it at this time. Um, I'm gonna eat that, and then we're going to uh, drink. <sighs> Can I grab the water? Uh, we could use the water. Uh, I didn't. I'll go ahead and take that water. Okay, and uh, so inevitably uh, there's a potential wolf encounter uh, right outside the door. Uh, so I'm going to Ooh, and it's got to be all right. So strategy one. Double check. Uh, sometimes under the snow you can find uh, pry bars, ropes, um, toolbox. Wonder uh, if this is any good yeah, to eat. I'll take it. And then straight inside. Okay. Uh, so this is definitely. Um, one of the better uh, loot areas uh, within Hope nobody needs the coastal thing. highway uh, that uh, can potentially provide oh that was our first uh, rifle shell casing I think uh, a rope um, and unfortunately uh, just on the cursory inspection, uh, we got one of those a little bit better condition than the one we have. Uh, cursory inspection uh, is telling me uh, no rope. I'm not going to take that. Uh, we have
have a car battery that's kind of starting to slow me down. Yes, it's slowing you down. It's 33 pounds. Okay, we'll put that up there where I can see it. Uh, I'm going to take that only to put it in the other container. Another hacksaw. Mm. I think I can use this. Well, it's like it knows I need a rope, and it is going to refuse uh, to give me a rope. Um, we will just systematically uh, search this out. Let's uh, start with the lockers. Ah, speaking of uh, the ear wraps, uh, we got we got a pair. Uh, that's potentially better than the shirt that I have on, but we'll do it. So, um, that is actually uh, relatively light. Uh, we may have to Examine that some. Funny enough, uh, none of these coats that we've been finding, um, well, exception of the Mackinac jacket. I know the Mackinac jacket is in um, is it Interloper. Uh, that's the one that I, I desire to find um, all the time. Um, but these other ones, uh, these urban parkas and expedition parkas are just uh, not there. Uh, so to have this many uh, clothing choices uh, is slightly bewildering to me. Could end up being useful. Uh, we'll take it, but I'm not going to use that one. Um, that's really low condition. Uh, we're going to harvest this. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and harvest this as well. Yeah. I can barely walk with this much gear. I know. Terrible being this well equipped. So uh, let's really see what's going on here. I'm not going to be energy able to carry on the go for much longer. Um, I don't know if we've spoken about them or not. But uh, I really don't use those or don't desire to use those. Um, they're relatively heavy. Um, and then after use, uh, they give you, um, I guess, intermittent migraines uh, that really can mess with you. Um, I prefer just a regular cup of coffee, but uh, they are there to provide uh, an energy boost when needed. Uh, I guess potentially they could be good for uh, climbing ropes, um, which we're going to be doing. Uh, if we can find a rope and not die, uh, 
between now and then. This is uh, the one thing about the long dark is is it is not uh, uh, predictable in the sense that every run is different, um, and that's one of the reasons why I like it. In some runs, uh, you'll be lacking uh, certain items. In other runs, you'll be lacking other items. Um, normally, uh, on my playthroughs, um, I have uh, ropes coming out of the wazoo. Uh, yeah, that's actually a place. Um, and I just begin to just leave them laying around uh, because I don't do a whole lot of, of climbing. Um, and here now I am in a position where um, I need a rope and cannot find it. Okay. All right. So we've searched all of that, searched all of that. Let's take a look real quick at these. Um, let me go this route. Hmm. Ooh, it takes three uh, to repair. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a... Well, let me double-check my my stats. Uh, mostly uh, my calories. Uh, I don't want to lose my well-fed buff. Uh, that would that would, that would would make me cry. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, repair this up. Uh, What's most exciting about that one is it's only 2.2 .2 pounds, um, so it is it is really light um, in comparison to uh, some of the other jackets. Wow, that was some extremely good luck uh, <laughs> repairing that. Uh, so let's see uh, what the difference is. Uh, it's a significant. Uh, difference actually um, so it will definitely not take the, the place of that however uh, let's see if it can hmm it, it encumbers us uh, less and is lighter uh, it is not as effective when it's wet but it's in a secondary uh, slot and the protection bonus is a little bit lower so we got four five and three six compared to four five three six you know what i'm going to go ahead and switch it out uh just mainly uh for the extra pound um so yeah we will switch that out um well this will give us a chance it's one seven uh zero nine uh, oh yeah it's it's much uh, it's going to be much better. Um, so it's it's half a pound. It's half a pound. So we will go ahead and oh well, uh, we won't repair because uh, we don't have uh, the cloth. Uh, we will wear this. Uh, it's an just an extra, um, you know, one like one and a half pounds and almost a one pound um, for for free. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely take that. Um, ooh, and it has gotten dark on us. Um, I didn't realize it was it was that close. Okay, so in here we will go ahead and begin to download uh, some of this great gear we got. Uh, I'm really just kind of amazed uh, at at the level of gear we have already uh, in this game. Um, we will put that down. Uh, we will also go ahead and store uh, our second bedroll, uh, which we don't need. Um, let's go by category. Uh, that's well over. Uh, so we we have a lot of extra tools uh, that we don't need. Um, I could probably put that that leather down. Um, but we're going to go over here and we'll go to our fire being as the fire barrels right there uh, we just don't need any of these cardboard matches uh, we probably don't need any but we'll carry two around just for emergency situations uh, we definitely don't need two of these 
Uh, matter of fact, the argument could be that, that we don't need any of these, so we're just going to go ahead and drop those. Um, it's a half a pound. We have seven tender plugs, uh, so we're not going to bother with these anymore. Um, I will carry both of these fire strikers on me, and I will drop. Uh, we'll drop two uh, of our wood matches. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll call that good, uh, and then back in here before it gets uh, too terribly dark. That's the workbench. Uh, we'll open this and we'll go ahead and store. Um, no, we don't need that. We can drop that and that. Uh, even though we have a fire barrel, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it that way. Uh, we're at eight, 84 um, pounds. Uh, we'll drop those two, and then now the remainder of it is going to be um, our food uh, and um, healing items. Um, so mainly, I think in our in our food area, uh, we have uh, quite a bit of weight. Um, that's a good problem to have. Uh, so. Uh, let's work our way back over here to the bed. And let's go ahead and see if we can get that peanut butter in us. Uh, I don't know if we got it all down. We didn't. Uh, we got 91 uh, calories left. Uh, not a big deal. We will store that in the morning. And we are going to drink this water. And with that, uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, sleep. Twelve days, fourteen hours, and forty-seven minutes. Uh, it is just about to be uh, daylight. Uh, however, uh, we cannot sleep anymore. Um, we will... I'll drink this soda. Uh, get rid of that weight. I'll go ahead. Mm, I'd hate to get sick uh, this time of day. Uh, so we may not go ahead and eat that. I think we got... Yep, we got more sodas on us. Um, that we can top off both. Good enough there. Uh, we will finish that with water. <sighs> I don't know if we picked, we didn't pick up uh, anything that we can break down to kind of let a little bit of time go by. Uh, it is almost uh, daylight. Uh, what I would like to do uh, is go ahead and finish uh, this book off. moments away. Uh, so we're going to uh, wait until we can finish this book off and um, then we are going to uh, call it on this episode and uh, we thought we were going to be somewhere uh, today that we are obviously not um, and that is the long dark for you. Um, so here we go. Good. That is complete. Let's see if it gave us anything. Uh, not quite. Uh, so while I have it fresh in my mind, uh, we are going to uh, research already complete. Drop. We are going to uh, well, get a little bit closer. Uh, we'll set this one down. Uh, just pick that up uh, just to have it. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, when we come back, uh, we are going to uh, do just a little bit more inventory management, uh, get our 
our, our weight down a little bit more. Uh, we're going to try to uh, leave the Quonset area uh, without getting uh, eaten by wolves and we are going to be on our search uh, for a rope uh, and when, once we have our rope uh, we will return um, to the ravine area and begin to head into uh, Bleak Inlet. Uh, so uh, yeah, if you liked it, please give it that thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be reminded every time I put out a new episode of the long dark. See you next time.